Hello everyone, John Sacker is here and I'm with my friend Christine. Hello. <laughs> and Christine is a fellow vegan and animal rights activist. How, how long have you been vegan, Christine? I'm going on to eight years now. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm curious, what, what, what made you go vegan? Well, I've been a vegetarian since I was 18 years old. Oh, awesome. But I was always a vegetarian for vegan reasons, but I hadn't heard about veganism. Hmm. And when I was 40, uh, a co-worker called me a hypocrite. And I said, what do you mean I'm a hypocrite? I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat animals. I don't cause any harm. And then she told me what veganism was. And that day I went home and researched it, saw that really I'm not a vegetarian, even though I ate like one. I'm really a vegan. And so that day I put my values and my food choices they're in sync and I've been a vegan ever since. As soon as you go vegan, everything is open up to you and you change your whole entire way of thinking so that you no longer wear leather and, and other products and you no longer would support a circus or a zoo. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, you, that's why I think people have a hard time going vegan sometimes because you're not just asking them to change a food choice, you're asking them to reevaluate their whole belief system. And for some people that's hard, or it might take some time, and for other people it's very easy, but hopefully the goal is to get there. I just love the vegan community, I'm sure you do as well. And I... Absolutely, and I was just in Hawaii and I was volunteering at the Lalani Farm Sanctuary. Um, you know, you, you go on vacation and you, you know, you have fun in the sun, and, but you can still search out vegan organizations and help along the way also. You know, you can, um, you can go to the larger farm sanctuaries or you can search out farm sanctuaries in your own area and do what you can locally. What are some vegan foods that you like to eat? Um, I love to eat uh, fresh fruit and vegetables and grains and lentils and beans and I like coconut ice cream and if you have a Vitamix you can take some frozen fruit and you can make an ice cream out of anything. It's not, I think a lot of people think that they're limited. Mm -hmm. You know, most carnivores or omnivores would eat meat and potatoes, meat and rice, meat and pasta. I just found going vegan really opened up a whole different world of different foods I've never heard of before, which are all delicious. I was never vegan for health reasons. Mm. It's a benefit and a bonus, which I'm focusing more on, but originally, I mean, you can be a junk food vegan, you can exist on Coca-Cola and Oreos and still call yourself a vegan. You're not gonna be a very healthy vegan. And if you eat the faux meats and the processed, um, easy to buy vegan food, um, you, you could eat them and still call yourself a vegan, but if you want to be a really healthy vegan, you go more into the whole foods and the less processed. I mean, that's good for anybody, not even vegans. You know, it's good for everybody, everybody, but less processed. Uh, you mentioned that you've had something unfortunate, hap unfortunate happen recently where you've been living in a wonderful home mm -hmm. for the last while, had a great view, mm -hmm. and now who's moved in across the street? Well, in Ontario, where I live, um, it's a lottery system. Not anybody can have a chicken farm. So the whatever system it is awarded my neighbors to build a chicken farm um, so now unfortunately in front of me is a shed and there's 14,000 um, boiler chickens um, that I guess rotate every six weeks so um, our dream home has not uh, lived up to what we expected well I'm very sorry to hear mm -hmm. that that's really terrible mm -hmm. I this past summer, I went to Australia and a friend brought me to some factory farms and I visited two broiler chicken sheds mm -hmm. and I got to go inside. We uh, went onto the property and the doors weren't locked, so we slid them open and we looked inside and saw thousands of birds and it was very sad. It was very mm -hmm. stinky mm -hmm. and, you know, dirty and loud and I felt bad for these birds. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's totally unnatural. People, some people say, oh, it's natural to eat animals. There's nothing natural about having a gigantic shed stuffed with thousands of birds. There's nothing natural about that. Right. Hmm. And when they can grow a baby and slaughter this baby in six weeks, yeah. and this baby's not an adult bird, they're, they're, now people are eating this mutant animal. And what's that doing to people's health? I love your shirt, by the way. <laughs> what, you. Your shirt says, save an egg, crack a smile. Right. <laughs> I find that I eat a wider variety of foods as a vegan than I ever did Absolutely. as a pre-vegan. Pre Absolutely. And also, my social life has taken off. I now can go to uh, a 
potluck. There is um, a lot of marches. There's a lot of fun events that vegans get to do together. You, when you find like-minded people, you find fun things that like-minded people like to do. And you don't always talk about veganism. Mm -hmm. You just have that basic understanding that that's what you have in common and let's go skiing or let's go for a hike or let's mm -hmm. go to a protest or let's go to a movie. Yeah, it absolutely. really can enhance your social life when you're around like-minded, wonderful people. Definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and I know some vegans online who have never met another vegan in person mm -hmm. that they know of. And so if you're new to veganism, I recommend getting some vegan friends online, mm -hmm. do some social networking, and, and you can get a sense of being a part of a, the vegan community, even if you're in an area where veganism isn't very popular. So you have lots of friends you've met online. Uh, absolutely. And from online, you meet them in person. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Is that how we met? We met online first and then met in person? Or? I imagine so. I've known you for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any tips for, for people? Uh, any vegan tips for people new to... For new? You know what? I think pick your food that you're most comfortable with and like you say, just put vegan in front of it. Mm -hmm. Don't expect it to taste the same because it's not going to. And if you're expecting it to taste exactly the same, you're going to be disappointed. But expect it to taste different and often better. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And you know what? No matter how much sugar and flour and sauce you can put on an animal product, it will never taste as good as a compassionate recipe. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I, I like one quote, nothing tastes as good as compassion feels. Absolutely. Well, I've been a vegan for, I think, eight years, and it went from my choice in a restaurant being a salad or a salad. And no matter where I go, there's at least two or three options if not more, and there's more vegan restaurants popping up, there's more raw vegan restaurants popping up. The media, the restaurants, the stores, is catering to us. Yeah, thank you for caring about humans and children and animals, mm -hmm. and uh, thanks for everything you do to make the world a better place. Thank you very much, Christine. Thank you, John. Okay, go vegan, everybody. Mm -hmm.